Hi, I stuff reviewer here. I'm very excited to show you this. I'm going to show you how to th to jailbreak an iPod Touch 2G, iPod Touch 1G, iPhone and iPhone 3G 3.0 software. How to jailbreak? Um. So I'm going to start this out. I have to go rather quickly. Um. Over in the description, you'll need to download Red Snow 3.0 for your either Mac or Windows, it will both be there, and you'll also need to press the link of upon which you have, um, which uh, device you'll have, and then you'll download the 3.0 software for that, and it will come up and you will download that. So if you have an iPod Touch 1G or iPod Touch 2G, that will all be in the description. Um, you will download that, Red Snow will download rather quickly, and then the um, next part will download. Um, the uh, firmware that takes qu quite a while so you can go on to my next part once red snow is downloaded but after that you'll have to wait until the firmware is done okay I'll get back to you into that um, okay so I'm going to show you what you need to do after you get red snow downloaded you can do this before the um, version firmware is complete so you will need to um, depending upon I don't know why this did this, but for some reason when I downloaded it, downloaded this one, it came into files. So just open up the red snow slash win and basically that. And then inside of that, there will be, this is in a zip folder, so you will have to extract all of these. And then inside of that one, right here, um, hold on that is in it the red snow right there and you can just I stuck it on my desktop for easy access you can just pull that out and that's all that needs done um, and then you can close that out and then wait for the things to come up 15 minutes now so um, now I will actually get back to you once that is fully done okay I'm back um the thing the firmware downloaded now. Um, I'm gonna have to make this quick because this may take a while. First, start up, pull up Red Snow, and press Run. And here it says all this welcome, all this stuff. Please select the corresponding IS or IPSW for your current firmware. So I'm gonna browse, and it would be I stuck it in here, right here. Processing firmware. So it's going to make sure it's the correct firmware, or it's a correct version of firmware, or something like that. Just this processing. <laughs> uh, wait a second to do that. And then it says IPSW successfully identified. And you press next. It says connecting to server. Preparing jailbreak data. Patching kernel. Preparing RAM disk. Select which options you would like to have. Um, well, you have the option to install Cydia. So you make sure that's checked. Go to next. Please make sure your bife your device is both off and plugged in, okay? Oops. Okay. And it turned on. There we go. So now it's on and charging. Gotta get rid of that. Now it says to turn it off, so I'm gonna hold this. Oop. Hold this. Slide the power off. Now it's turning off. It turned off. It's off. And now it is off. And I'll make sure it's off. Yeah, it's off. And plugged in. Hold down the power button for one. Hold on. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, Three. Oh, what happened? Okay. Okay. Now I gotta turn the thing off again. <clears throat> okay. So now it is off. Okay. Make sure it's off. Okay. There we go. It's off. Not turning on. Okay. So hold the power button for two seconds or for three seconds. Okay. Without releasing, hold down the home button. the home button without releasing the home button release the power button and keep holding the home button for 30 seconds it counts down for you so just keep holding some got messed up last time eight seven six five four three two one Aw, it says it found new hardware, stupid. Now it's just being dumb. It says, found new hardware, app recovery, DFU, USB driver. <sighs> okay, I'll do it again. Oh, there we go. Now it says, please wait while your device is being jailbroken. So just set it down and wait. Um, I don't know how long this is going to take. It will probably take a while, so I will get back to you. Okay, it is almost done here. It is rebooting. So there it goes. Oh, maybe they don't have a new icon. Hmm. Who knows? Maybe it'll happen once it, because it's like refreshing or something. I don't know. I had a new icon on my other one. It let you pick one, but I don't know. Whatever. I thought that was kind of neat, but I guess I just get stuck with the old one. But I don't really care. I mean, you barely ever reboot the thing anyway. And there it goes. Oh, it says it's connected. And voila. There you go. You now should have a jailbroken iPod. Um, I think. Oh, there's Cydia. There's Cydia. We'll automatically close when done. Reorganizing. Okay, there you go. So you have it. Um I am running 3.0, I assure you. Um, this hopefully will work for you. I mean, it worked great for me. Um, okay. So, see, I'm running 3.0 and have the search iPod crap and the voice memos. Can't get that. Here, just, just to prove to you, I'll pull up settings and pull up the firmware version. General. About version 3.0. I guess I can unplug this now. Version is 3. Wait, where'd the version go? Version. Version 3.0. There you go. See, it has the voice memos. Um, yeah. So I hope that helped. Hope this works for you. I'm really excited about this. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Um, and 